didn't think I'd let you down, huh? I hate the cold. You still angry with me? Yeah, of course I am. But sorry to behave like an absolute idiot. Yeah. Now, I never had time to tell you this, but um, I love you, Jody. I wanted you to know, just in case we die here. Right. So how about you? Huh? Do you love me too? I thought... for one moment, but... No, I don't. Sorry. Never seen anyone so pig headed. Good night, Princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? You 
get some sleep. Tony, what are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We are here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Helen. Laura. We love you, darling. He'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I missed them so much. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. And we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation.
Pentagon top brass getting you down? I did what they wanted me to do. It's not my business anymore. We played our part in all of this. I shouldn't have accepted that mission. I was only thinking about my freedom, and that was stupid. What are you gonna do now? Maybe I'll go back to the people I like. And the people who like me for who I truly am. I haven't met too many along the way. <laughs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given them an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us. And I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. What about Aiden? I'll get used to him. And I'm sure he'll end up getting used to me. I mean, we have something in common. We both care about you. It's worth a try. <laughs> Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? Never say no to a single malt. <laughs> Great. I'll see you in a bit. Let's go, Jody. Nathan's waiting. Here we are. Call me when you're done. I'll come pick you up. <laughs> Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Jody, oh, I'm so glad to see you safe.
I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars. For services rendered. That should help make a new start. Thanks. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, I wanted to die too. I cried a lot, hanging my head against the wall trying to figure out why, why, why them? Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal.